What is going on, fan clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're having a really, really good weekend so far. I'm really excited about today's video because we're going to go over bulk again. We've gone over this a couple times over the last couple weeks, and I told you guys we would come back to it if you wanted to. We're going to start looking over some hollow rares and some rare cards that you might want to pull out of your bulk. And we do this not to necessarily emphasize the value of the cards, but we do this because we don't want you having these cards lying around your bulk when they have value associated with them. We want you to get the most out of your collection dollars. So comes in handy to kind of know what these cards are but there's a lot of them you know there's a lot to pay attention to so pulling these cards out so that way you can use them for trade bait or maybe you can sell them on, an, on a, a platform like tcg player so that way you can better fund your collection things like that just making smarter decisions especially in the climate that we're in uh this economical climate that we're in uh, saving money is important right like you want this hobby to be fun you want to be in it for the long game i want you guys to be here as long as as humanly possible. I want you to play the competitive game. I want you to really enjoy the collection. I want you to know what you have. So it's best to kind of go over some of this information so you have it. And I know that it hurts um, bulk companies, companies that take in bulk like ourselves, uh, but it's important to make sure that we keep it 100, be completely forthright with you guys. So we're going to go over a lot of these uh, cards that are valued at a decent rate that might be hiding in your bulk. And we talked about the gym leader challenge recently. That is really playing a big impact. If you haven't seen that, don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the last video I did. It should only be about a week, week and a half ago, uh, finding hidden gems in your bulk, but really interesting format that a lot of people are kind of piloting right now. Andrew Mahone is really big into it. Excellent competitive player, and it's a lot of fun, basically. Kind of com comparative to, like, the, the commander format from Magic the Gathering. A really unique spin on the Pokemon TCG. So, we're going to go over holographic rares here. I did sprinkle in some from basically every generation, but I stayed away from vintage, because you expect vintage cards to be more expensive. expensive. I also stayed away from Evolutions Hollows. If you have any Evolutions Hollows in your bulk, you should automatically assume those are going to be worth more than a dollar a piece. I also stayed away from Charizard because Charizard is pretty much, if it's a rare or it's a hollow, you definitely want to keep that pulled out of your bulk. Same thing with Blastoise. Those big three are going to be worth a little bit more. So keep those handy. Don't throw those into your bulk. But I wanted to focus mainly on cards that might be a little bit older from like the Black and White era, era XY, Sun and Moon, and then the current era that you might not pay a whole lot of attention to. Starting with the top here with a Rita, which is from Astral Radiance, very competitive card, super clutch in a lot of games, and with the competitive format kind of taking off more and more worlds right around the corner, people prepping for the next season, um, $5.68 is what you're looking at for that holographic rare from Astral Radiance. It's also a little bit difficult to pull um, the, the pull rates for Astral Radiance. We just talked about that on Friday. Definitely go watch that video because you can win an Evolving Skies booster box. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. That's it. Okay, I'm done uh, shouting out my channel. But Arita, $5.68, not bad. Uh, and then the Ditto card from Pokemon Go is the second one that I want to introduce to you guys. Very competitive card. Also with the peelable gimmick, makes it even more valuable. So we talked about the peelable cards from Pokemon Go, that Spinarak, the Numel, Numel and the uh, Bidoof. Those are all with, those all have value associated Say with basically just an uncommon uh, reverse holo slot, but you know you peel it back and then boom, there's the holographic ditto beneath it. So all of those cards are basically selling for right around the same price, uh, whether it be because people want the holographic ditto or they just want the gimmick to pe uh, peel the card. $7.33 is basically what you're looking at right now for ditto. Deancey is a holo rare from Astral Radiance. There's actually five, four cards here from Astral Radiance. So we talk about those ancillary pulls, those pulls that aren't ultra rares from a set that really define how good a set can be. Astral Radiance, not too bad because it does have a lot of really good cards in it, like Trekking Shoes and like this DNC that we're talking about right now. $2.82, super competitive card. Same thing with Miltank, which came in big time at NAIC. Obviously, Sander and Mies playing that Mewtwo V Union deck with uh, Miltank. Miltank being very, very important, prohibiting attacks and damage from your opponent's Pokemon V. $1.56. And these cards are cards you know are going to be in the format for quite some time moving forward. You don't have to worry about rotation happening in January and these falling off uh, which makes them possible to kind of continue going up in price. So Miltank falling at $1.56 currently. And then we've got the Reggie line, the Reggie Gigas being the hollow rare. That is the most expensive one out of the bunch. $1.46 right now. That is also from Astro Radiance. Inteleon not going anywhere because it's still going to be legal for quite some time. Usually we have rotation kind of happening now, but rotation has been pushed back officially by Pokemon. That's not going to happen until the beginning of 2023. And because of that, Drizzile and Inteleon and even Sable are going to stay up in price as more people prep 
for upcoming local events and regional events and things like that. They want to make sure that they have this engine because it is so successful in the competitive field. Intellion is something that you can just pair with so many different decks, uh, especially Arceus and different things like that. So it's a very, very strong line. This is the Intellion from Chilling Rain. It's a hollow rare selling for $2.07. Galarian Moltres. Not doing too bad. Evolving Skies obviously getting reprinted. Going to do okay, but going to stay in the format for quite some time. Galarian Moltres, $1.21. Definitely a card you might want to pull out of your bulk. And then we've got the Reggie Lecky. Uh, going up in price because of that Reggie Gigas deck, that Reggie deck uh, from Astro Raids. But Reggie Lecky obviously being a card that... It, people prefer, competitive players prefer than the Regilecki that's in Astral Radiance. So Regilecki from Evolving Skies this is the Hollow Rare Evolving Skies variant selling from a dollar, selling for a dollar fifty-five. And we've got Jirachi. This is a little bit older of a card. I believe that this was reprinted a couple times, but it's got the Wishing Star ability selling for $49.99. This is a huge competitive card for people who play retro formats, old formats, things like that, especially when it gets to that GLC, things like that. It's very, very popular. It was in a lot of decks. I have quite a few of these cards Cards to build old school decks and to build retro decks, but they are very expensive. So investing $50 into a card like this can get very pricey. So if you have any in your bulk, you definitely want to take it out. Then we've got the Intellion from Sword and Shield base set. This was also reprinted many times as a non holo rare, but the holo rare from I think Sword and Shield base is selling for a dollar for a dollar sixty-two. I guess that could be Rebel Clash. I think it's. I think it's Sword and Shield based, but $1.62 with the Shady Dealings ability. Then we've got Sincino. This one came out in Sword and Shield base. This is selling for $1.16. This is just a rare card, but with its Make Do ability right here, makes it see some competitive play. You've got the Marnie card here. This is from Sword and Shield. It's selling for $1.85 right now. This was reprinted several times, so you saw it in Champion's Path. You saw it again as a deck exclusive as just a rare card, but $1.85 for the Hollow specifically to the Sword and Shield base. Uh, same thing. With the boss's orders, which came out in Rebel Clash, reprinted multiple times, but the Hollow Rare from Rebel Clash has more value associated with it at $1.25. The only Evolutions card that I did keep in here was the Lily Pad Mew from Evolutions, which is selling for $4.46. As you can see, my um my numbers kind of got messed up here when it converted over to a uh, Google Sheet document from an Excel document. But $4.46 is what that says. Uh, just I wanted to include it in there just because it's a little bit more expensive of the hollow rares. Most of the hollow rares from Evolutions, you can expect a dollar, two dollars, two fifty, somewhere around there, with the exception of obviously that Charizard, which is much more expensive. But the Lily Pad Mew selling for $4.46, not bad. And then we've got Kiram here from Dragon Vault. Uh, Dragon Vault is really taking off for being such a small subset. Four or fifty. $54.74 right now is the going rate for a hollow rare Kiram from Dragon Vault. So if you have any of these in your bulk, you definitely want to pull them out. Dragon Vault, not a very popular set. Obviously, like I said, subset, much like what you saw uh, with Double Crisis. It's Double Crisis, right? Yeah, Double Crisis uh, and some of those other smaller sets out there like the Detective Pikachu set. The Kiram doing extremely well because of the GLC. 54.74 is what it's currently going for. They've been talking about the GLC, the Guzzlord from Cosmic Eclipse, both the Reverse Hollow and the Hollow variant. $12.48 is the market price right now, but they're actually selling for above that. You can, you can find them for $15, $16, $17 dollars right now on TCG Player. This is just a hollow rare from Cosmic Eclipse. With Cosmic Eclipse being a set that wasn't necessarily reprinted in booster box form but was included in those pokeball tins and also in um those Arceus V uh, figure boxes, Cosmic Eclipse, a lot more of it has been opened. So I wanted to throw this card in there because the likelihood of you having some Cosmic Eclipse is possible. Much more stronger if you've gotten into the hobby over the past year and a half or so. So you might have some of these cards lying around. Then we've got the Dragonair from uh, Dragon Vault right here, also doing really well at $8.93. Right here is the Snorlax, super cute looking card. This is just a hollow rare, but this is from Unbroken Bond. So not a very old set, but still selling for $3.50, which is a lot better. Better than the bulk hollow value that you might get currently, which is right around a quarter, maybe even less than that, 20 cents, somewhere around there, 15 cents even. Uh, but the Snorlax doing extremely well, $3.50 out of Unbroken Bonds. Same thing with this hollow Mew here with its bench barrier ability. A lot of people, if you want to play Expanded, Mew is a really good card to have. This was also printed as... Um, a promo in Hidden Fate, so it's a different artwork, different variant, but uh, also has that bench barrier ability. $3.48 for that one. Then we've got the Gengar from Generations with its Sinister Fang. A lot of people really just like the artwork of this card. It's selling for $4.98. It's just a hollow rare. Again, Generations is something that maybe some people just kind of have lying around. This is a card you definitely want to take out. The... 
Uh, Gardevoir from Next Destinies, $8.12. It's got the psychic uh, ability here, $8.12. Very, very strong hollow. So if you have any of those lying around, definitely want to pull them out. Same thing with the Roserade. This is from Dragons Exalted with the Le Perfume ability. This one is big with the GLC, so it's doing extremely well uh, from the GLC format because it's a card that a lot of grass decks really need in order to be successful. Selling for $12.45 right now is just a hollow hollow rare uh, from Dragons Exalted. Then we've got the Rosa card. I believe this is from Cosmic Eclipse 2. I can't remember if this is from Cosmic Eclipse or Unbroken Bonds. I want to say it's Cosmic Eclipse, uh, but it's $2.33 is the hollow that it's selling for right now. This was also printed as a deck exclusive. The hollow rare doing much, much better than the deck exclusive, but $2.33. Very, very strong. Same thing with the Chandelure from Noble Victories with its cursed uh, ability here, selling for $14.54 as a hollow rare. Well, not bad at all. Noble Victories, $14.54 for that Chandelure. Then we've got the Typhlosion from Lost Thunder with its uh, blasting or blazing energy ability here. $4.36 is what you're looking at for this Hollow Rare from Lost Thunder. Again, a set that was reprinted in, form, uh, in the form of building battle boxes, so you might have opened up a decent amount of Lost Thunder, have some sitting around. $4.36 for that Hollow Rare. Uh, we've only got five more that we're going to look at here, like the Umbreon from Lost Thunder is just a rare card, but selling for $3.10. Really, a lot of those evolutions like Umbreon, like Espeon, the Espeon from Lost Thunder I think is selling for a buck or two as well. Uh, those are cards that you definitely want to pull out of your bulk. Definitely don't send them in. We've got the Swampert here. Uh, I think this is from, oh, what is this from? Primal Clash. Uh, $4.83. This is one of those with the ancient traits uh, that you see right up here at the top. The ancient trait abilities. $4.83 for this Swampert. Embor, really big in the GLC right now as well. Selling for $6.72. This one is from Legendary Treasure. So if you have any of a little bit older bulk from that black-white era, um, Legendary Treasure is definitely one you want to look at because we've got Embor at $6.72. And we've got Rayquaza selling for $6.17 with that beautiful artwork. Musharna, Musharna is the last one that we're going to look at. This is a rare, I believe, from Next Destinies. Uh, but it's got a really great ability. It's very strong in the Gym Leader Challenge format. Selling for $13.70. This is just a rare card. Uh, not a, It's a non holo card. So $13.70 for that one there. Uh, this is just kind of a, a blip of what is available out there that I really want to just kind of highlight to go over and make sure you remove these cards from your bulk so that way you're not bulking them out, getting rid of them when they do have value associated with it. Again, not because you want to pay attention to just numbers, but you also want to know what you have so that way you can utilize that. When a lot of these cards are selling for more expensive than what a lot of ultra rares are selling for, it can be a really big deal to kind of be throwing these away and that's the last thing that you guys want to do. So use these videos to the best of your advantage. Pull these cards out of your bulk cards. Maybe sign up uh, on Facebook, go to some like something like Verbank City Gym or uh, some of those other buy sell trade groups out there whether it be on Reddit or Instagram maybe start moving some of these if you don't play competitive Pokemon or even if you're looking at possibly playing competitive Pokemon you don't want to bulk these out either but these are cards that you can kind of trade up to find maybe missing pieces of your collection and that's really what the goal is because that's going to increase longevity in the hobby and things like that so hope you guys enjoy these types of videos if you do hit that like button down below leave a comment I really appreciate it and it goes a long way for the algorithm it's always great to talk shop and talk Pokemon with you guys. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you haven't already, share the videos with your friends. Um, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for everything. I will talk to you soon. Until then, peace!